Hi everyone, it's great to see you. It is a very rainy morning out here, which is wonderful. It's nice and cool and overcast. So I'm going to take this opportunity to do a little planting. These are the guacamole heuchera that I had picked up on the Cape when we were vacationing last week, and it's time to settle them into the garden. So I like to have things fairly evenly spaced in my garden. So I sort of look and this area here needs some of this nice lime green. So I'll get these planted and then I'm going to show you sort of how things are coming along in this garden. Now this guacamole heuchera gets to be about 14 to 22 inches tall um, and about that wide. So I am planting these fairly close together but I am fine with dividing them as soon as they start to look too crowded. Digging. Hope there's nothing here. So I have my guacamole heuchera planted and hopefully you can get an idea from what you're seeing here on how I like to sort of space out the sort of lemony colored leaves here and then situate some of the darker leaves in between them. Specifically, so I have my three big patches of heuchera now and then my stained glass pasta over there. So let me just walk you through sort of what I have here in case you're interested in getting any of these yourself. We'll start over here. So over here, I have Goodness Gracious, which Goodness Gracious is being eaten by the rabbits quite a lot, but it's coming slowly but surely. A very sad, pretty pistachio heuchera that I have had a couple years and it just is not doing too well. This is, um, these are some cuttings that I have from my climbing hydrangea and they seem to have rooted. So I don't know where I'm gonna put it climbing up yet, but they're happy there for now. Here we have Lemon Zinger, one of my new mini hostas. Another little pretty pistachio, and I love this pot up here with these caladium. So my first year doing caladium, um, I planted them too early. They were not happy in our spring weather. It was definitely too cold for them. But now that we've hit the real heat, they're doing much better. So next year I know they like to be planted a little later. We have sun mouse. And we have our pack of Appletini heuchera, which I'm really loving this veining here. It just really is pretty. It has a little of that lime color, but not quite as much. More of a silvery overcast to it. Makes it a little different. Some of my begonias that I put in, and look at how well this white um, caladium is doing. It is very happy. Let's see, we have munchkin fire, which I just love how round it stays. Those long little leaves, but they stay in that little round clump. And another stained glass, which the slugs and the bunnies just love. Way in the back here, I have a newly transplanted fern. So that's why it's looking kind of worse for wear. And silly string, silly string hosta is giving me trouble. Everything loves to eat it. Normally I have a metal cloche over it, um, but the slugs still eat it. So if anybody has had a lot of luck with silly string, could you let me know what your secret is? I have some hostas that I don't know what they are. They were here when I moved in. This is golden tiara and we have guacamole back here. Another patch of beautiful heuchera. This is lime marmalade. This is mouse ears and rainforest sunrise. Rainforest sunrise is another hosta that I love. Normally I have my metal cloche over it. It still is really struggling and it gets eaten. Um, the rabbits would eat it if I didn't cover it. I love it. If you have a lot of success with this one, let me know your key to your success for that one too. Then we have, of course, our new guacamole heuchera. This is our dream queen hosta, well nibbled by slugs and by bunnies. <laughs> And then last night, I don't know if it was chipmunks or bunnies, but something got in here, uh, which happens a lot to me. Here's another stained glass hosta over here. I really love those. Up front, we have two full leaves of touch of glass and then a lot of nice little nimble pieces. <laughs> this is the salad bar. And then we have school mouse. 
And over here we have Sun Mouse, which is starting to put up a little bloom stalk. I actually have not seen any bloom stalks this year. They have been eaten <laughs> before they have been able to bloom, which my hummingbirds are not very happy. Oh my, so this is the beginning here. So you can see that I love my shade garden and many, many of our other critters love it too. Um, I'm trying just to embrace all the nibbled leaves as other animals enjoying these great plants and hopefully they leave enough left to fill in even more for next year. This is still a pretty new garden. As you can tell, things really haven't filled in yet. I'm hoping, you know, in the next couple of years that we see a lot of this just being covered by the beautiful foliage. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.